Hi guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card and um, today I want to show you a clean and simple design and glitter because, you know, there can never be too much glitter on a card. I mean, not if you ask me. So this little guy here, I colored him up um, late last year when I was just practicing, you know, coloring. That's, you know, I just, you know, grabbed my Copics and practiced coloring. And this is what I ended up with. And I added some glitter to his hat, basically put some glossy accents down um, and then used the Nouveau Sparkle Dust to, which is a glitter, um, to put on the wet adhesive and let it dry. And once it's dry, you can rub it off. I used a My Favorite Things stamp to create this, basically my own pattern paper and the color that I needed. And I'm going to be using the Stitch Borders die by Pretty Pink Posh to now put my card together. The design though isn't mine. I looked at Francine Williamy's blog, and again, probably pronouncing the name wrong, sorry, and I saw this card and it absolutely spoke to me. You know, I hadn't crafted for almost a year, so I needed some inspiration to get me going. And what helps me often is to um, to look what other crafters do and then try to recreate it. So um, Francine came up with the design, I'm basically just recreating it and giving it my own twist. So I'm using my stamp -a magic for it to stamp the sentiment. So I'm picking up my stamp here, I'm inking it up. And the stamp -a magic con consists of this plastic piece that you reuse, you clean it, you reuse it, you don't throw it away, and this green T-shaped thing. You slide the plastic piece into the T-shape, then slide your acrylic block into the T-shape and stamp your sentiment or your image. Now you can use this plastic sheet to exactly position your sentiment, slide the, the T-shape back in, remove the plastic thing and slide your acrylic block back in. Because you haven't moved the stamp on the acrylic block, you can now stamp exactly where you want to go and the, uh, the clear piece basically helps you position that. It helps with rubber stamps where you can't see through. Um, I like to use some uh, post-it tape, or you can just use post-its, to cover up sentiments that I stamp with VersaFine ink. Because it's a pigment ink, it takes a little bit to dry, not too long, but I'm always afraid of kind of ruining um, my card while I'm putting it together, because, you know, I'm still working on it. So now I need to put everything together. Here's my top piece. I'm going to just put it there so I can guesstimate where my my pattern paper needs to go and this is literally just a background stamp from my favorite things and uh, i like using these large background stamps to create my own pattern paper because i can um you know i can pick any ink color that i like and you know i don't have to buy an entire paper pad um i mean i still buy those but i don't have to buy an entire paper pad if i just want a specific pattern so that's why i like using large background stamps to create my own pattern paper can see here I'm putting the um, um, the bottom panel on my card base. It's going to uh, to hang over the bottom edge, but that isn't a problem because you can just trim it down. You can see here um, it also the pattern paper hangs off to the side, so I'm just going to use my um, uh, my tonic guillotine here to cut it off. Now I know where to. Put, I'm trying to figure out where to position the little guy, and I'm doing this, and I'm pushing down here and the glue hadn't dried. Yep. Um, insert bleepy words. Um, so basically all I did was I grabbed the sparkle dust from Nuvo again, put some more glitter on it because it was still, you know, sticky. Um, and um, nobody will know if you don't tell anybody that I kind of made a boo-boo there. So just adhering the clouds. And because, you know, sparkle, I'm also using some Nuvo drops to add some accents here. Um, Francine hadn't, didn't have those on her card, but as I said, like if there's glitter, I can't stop using glitter and I had to use those glitter accents and they dry so nice. Here's a close-up of the cute little bunny and the glitter that I added to his hat, because why shouldn't you have a glittery hat, come to think of it actually. Um, and here's how nice those Nouveau drops dried. I know a lot of you have them by now. I'm just always amazed at how perfectly dome shaped you'll get those things. It's oh, it's magic basically. And here's the entire card that I created based on Francine designs, uh, on Francine's design, sorry. So if you enjoyed this card, please do check out Francine's blog as well. And here I have a few more videos for you to check out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.